in Libya when Gaddafi was threatening to massacre his population. I put together a coalition that included NATO, included the Arab League, and we were able to save lives. We did not lose a single American in that action. Well, the families of those four people at the consulate would uh, beg to differ. Greg Hicks joins us now, former executive chief of mission for Libya. Greg, welcome. Very good to have you on the program this morning. Thank you for having me. So when you hear Hillary Clinton say that at the Commander-in-Chief Forum, what goes through your mind? Well, as you might imagine, uh, the, the flames of the burning consulate erupt in my mind. And also, I vividly remember seeing our, my four fallen comrades on the hospital beds in, the, uh, in Tripoli afterwards. Uh, it's a very emotional reaction I have. I'm sorry about that. I don't blame you, sir. Um, I can only imagine how frustrated you must be with this story. I, you know, I also wonder, you know, there are people, people almost make fun of the word Benghazi. You know, they say, oh, it's just, you know, they're Benghaziing this or that, making a big deal out of um, things that shouldn't be made a big deal out of. What would you say to them? Well, I, I would say to them that Mrs. Clinton sent our people in Benghazi into harm's way. And she then delegated her responsibility, her legal obligation to protect our overseas Americans to others. And those people then reduced our security complement in Tripoli from 34 to 6, so that when Chris Stevens went to Benghazi, he could only take two security agents with him instead of the dozen more that he should have had with him. And I'd also tell them that she delegated the decision to divide our people in Benghazi into two separate facilities. The law says that decision can't be delegated. And so we have the very vivid stand-down controversy that was portrayed in the 13 Hours movie. Yeah. 